<laughs> Ingram against Leonard. Count it. Leonard's got 17. Talented, opportunistic. When Leonard gets hot, it can last mid-range jumper. It's a bit of a lost art. And AI throws nice. it down. <laughs> He could have tried to force a shot there. Instead, LeBron keeps his eyes up, Ooh. finds an open teammate. I didn't call for Van Vliet though. looking around. Yep. I go with this, man. All right. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha What's good man? You ready for this? Let's do it. Let's do this. In December we ran Winter Madness. The 2K Sports Pregame Show. Hey folks, I'm here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. I'm Ernie Johnson. Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports. And it is Raptor basketball tonight as the Toronto Raptors go up against the Los Angeles Lakers at Staples Center. And for Los Angeles, relative to last season, their record at this point, not quite up to par. They're looking for answers, looking for improvement as the season continues. And tonight, two teams that love to get in transition. Shaq, talk about successfully running the break. Well, I'm not a guard, but I have led the break before. And what you need to do, you got to keep your eyes ahead, have to see the whole floor. You got to be willing to make that extra pass, Ernie. Wow. You talk like a guard. You, yeah. You, you were like a point guard up there. Well, thank you. Congratulations, man. But don't force things. That's the other part. You know, just make the easy play. And if it's not there, slow it down. Set up your half court offense and then get it into the big guy if you have one. But don't you want to get the crowd on its feet? Don't you want to make that play that gets the whole arena up? Yes. You know what they used to call me, Ernie? What's that? Uh, Shaq Hick Johnson. Wow. Because he was like magic, but he was Shaq. I get it, Kenny. Oh, I'm just... I get it. Sometimes not, you don't. Not that dense. Shaq Hick Johnson. Welcome to 2K Sports for another edition of NBA Basketball. Along with Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge on the sideline, this is Kevin Harlan, and what an honor for us tonight to bring to you the greatest Laker, perhaps of all time, Kobe Bryant. Kobe, so great to have you with us courtside tonight. No, oh, thank you, man. The pleasure is all mine, and uh, I always like to stop by and spend time with you guys. Well, this is going to be fun tonight. It sure is. Well, it was the Toronto Raptors in their last game, a loss to Phoenix. And, you know, this can happen on the road. You're out defending guys who have just gotten into a comfort zone playing at home. Well, you have to have a... We are nearly ready for the tip-off, but first, let's hear from our very own David Aldridge. D.A., it's all yours. Well, guys, A.I. had an interesting time in the G League. He was first brought over by L.A., but immediately traded to Fort Wayne. L.A. actually traded him for a player and, quote, sandwich privileges, unquote. Clearly, he flourished with the Mad Ants as he has made his way into the NBA. I'm hungry now. Guys? Thank you, David. I'm not sure that trade has aged so well. But you know what, Greg? I bet both teams wish they had him now. 
You know, we need more specifics on what kind of sandwiches they were. Were any chips involved or, or condiments to be named later? Kobe, I can only imagine the hours you spent studying the legends who came before you, Michael Jordan, and probably other players as well. Well, yeah, because you have to ask yourself well, the question like is why are these moves that are being executed working? Right. <laughs> it's not good enough just to look at them and say, okay, they work. I'm going to go out and try to do the same. And Los Angeles will go for a different look here. Wow. AI has checked in for JaVale <laughs> oh McGee. God, Brandon man. Ingram comes in for LeBron. Kentavious Caldwell Pope, he's checked in for Harris. Rajon Rondo subbed in for Ball. A new group in now for the Raptors. OG Ananobi's checked in for Ibaka. Norman Powell comes in for Kawhi Leonard. Jeremy Lin, he's checked in for Danny Green. And it's Fred Van Vliet in for Kyle Lowry. So the Raptors five right now. Norman Powell is out there with Ananobi. Then it's Jeremy Lin, yeah. and it's Van Vliet in at the one. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. Ooh, you know that's one he liked to have back. Point oh, blank man. range, and he missed it. Powell inside. He's covered by Ingram. The shot by Powell, no good. Lakers trail by seven. AI passes to Rondo. Ingram outside. Rondo looking around. Shot clock at five. The tray. It's rebounded by Ananobi. A close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Good on the shot. And the Raptors lead by nine. And they've done the job on the offensive glass. Rondo kicks to Ingram. The pass to Kuzma. The feed to AI. And it's <laughs> Toronto with the rebound. Moreland's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Back to Lynn. Pass to on and over. It's deflected. And the whistle blows on the backcourt violation. Even over and back. And now, here's the 2K leaderboard with the teams that last season scored the most second chance points in the NBA. The Lakers second. This was a team that was really savvy when it came to getting position under the boards and then getting those offensive putbacks. And Kobe, I remember you saying that curiosity is such a valuable trait in a player. I, I bet the triangle was a very intriguing offense for you to learn and grasp. Oh, yeah. It, 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 it's, uh, it created such a system. It's like, you know, uh, jazz. When people watch jazz musicians orchestrating, it seems as if they're freelancing, but they're freelancing with a built-in structure. You have to have structure mm -hmm. in order to be able to freelance and create these amazing things. And the triangle gave unbelievable structure. And, you know, some of the people that I've talked to that have competed against the triangle and lost against the triangle, whether it was to us or to the Bulls, all lament about the triangle's the biggest crock of garbage. Mm -hmm. It was just mm -hmm. you and Michael. Then I said, you know what? Let's have a conversation about that. Do you remember this play? Yeah. Okay, that play happened at the moment it happened with two minutes to go in the fourth quarter because we knew in the first minute of the game when we ran it, you did this defensively. So we said, okay, they did that. Check. We'll wait. Okay, now let's look at this action. Okay, this action, how they're playing this action. They're playing mm -hmm. it that way. All right, check. Hold it. We'll wait. Interesting. <laughs> right? Very and so in the fourth quarter, we're able to take advantage. Why? Because we have a structure. From that structure, we know what you are doing, and we know how to counter what you're doing. Right? There's a reason Michael can look at Steve Kerr in a timeout and say, be ready. How would he know that? Yeah, right. How right. would he know that mm -hmm. unless he knew every time he drove middle, Stockton was coming over to help on his dribble penetration? He could have made that pass to Steve Kerr in the first quarter, second quarter, third quarter. Why did he wait? That's good stuff. <laughs> And AI gets it to go on the assist by Caldwell Pope. AI's got his second basket of the game. Raptors leading by eight. Van Vliet kicks to Ananobi. Caldwell Pope against Lynn. Pass to Van Vliet. Here's Ananobi. Five to shoot. Here's Lynn. That's basket number two with his third shot off to a fast two for three. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this lead. 
We've got 128 left here in the opening quarter. Ingram outside. Here's AI. And AI throws it down. And didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope. He, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. And I, I don't mean style points. Van Vliet kicks to Moreland. Back to Van Vliet. And down it goes. Dunk threw off a wonderful assist. And when you build a big lead like this, especially early, you have to guard against the letdown. Yeah, this is where it gets interesting. Do they start to coast, or do they go right for the juggler? Fast break Toronto for the finish. Pushes it down to finish the break. Yeah, I don't know if you can do it any better on both ends than they have tonight. It's early, but they have taken full control of this game, and the fans here, they know it. AI passes to Caldwell Pope. Back to AI. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. That free throw, no good. And Stevenson's checked in for the Lakers. And he sinks the second. Here's Van Vliet. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against Phoenix. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Raptors moving the ball around. The basket good off the assist from Lynn. Van Vliet's got his third basket of the night. Yeah, second chance points, a huge issue right now. They're getting steamrolled inside. Here is Stevenson. He kicks it to Rondo from deep. And as we conclude the first quarter, a one-sided game so far. Raptors lead by 14. And win, back in a moment as we'll get underway with quarter number two. We have all seen the incredible dunk. Here's what AI had to say about his viral slam over Corey Harris. You know, the funny thing about that is that when it happened, I didn't even think about how big it was going to be. You know, Corey and I go way back, so I, I was just happy to have gotten one over on him. It really wasn't until the next day that when my phone started blowing up that I realized just how big the reaction was to that dunk. Gee, I can only imagine the amount of texts and calls that flooded AI's phone after that dunk. My goodness. <laughs> and what's interesting, though, is that he didn't even realize what he had done. Sometimes you just get caught up in the moment of a play, and it isn't until after that you see the degree of difficulty of what you just pulled off. And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And for the Raptors, this has been the game they wanted to have. I tell you, on fire all period long. And this is how you want to start the game. They build up a monster lead on the heels of great shooting. Love the attack mindset here. And now brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. So for Toronto right now, Ananobi out there with Norman Powell. Then it's Ibaka. Then it's Jeremy Lin. And it's Van Vliet in at the point guard. Count it. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Kobe, a lot of teams now playing a more spread out offensive style. You played uh, with a spread four and Robert Ory and Lamar Odom. You, you also played with uh, more of a twin tower feel on your roster. Which way would you lean when you think about those different styles? That doesn't matter to me. You like you know, them all. Yeah, it just depends on the personality that you have. Right. And with the personality that you have, you make the most out of it. That puzzle so, you keep talking about. Absolutely. Yeah. It's just, every puzzle is built different. Right. Right. And you just wow. try to do what you can with what you have. So it doesn't matter. And you like that figuring out process. Oh, I love it. Yeah. I love it. Even yeah. though you're the same, you've, you've got to kind of adapt now what's on your roster. Yeah, you have to be able to adapt to the players that you have around mm -hmm. you, you know, and, and understanding what they need. It's not what you need. It's what do they need. And um, as long as the leader of the team can make that shift, they'll be fine with whatever they have on their roster. Great description. And a tremendous Unleash Chaos replay coming to you courtesy of Under Armour Hover Havoc. Ananobi kicks to Van Vliet. Six to shoot. That's tipped, and it's out of bounds. The Raiders will take it the other way. All right, a chance to check out numbers for Rondo. 
last year getting it done. Averaged eight points a game, eight assists, and four rebounds. And he has been passing the ball like a virtuoso. That's what really stands out about these recent performances. You know, mentally, he's a pass-first type of player. It gets everyone involved and engaged, and that really sparks this offense. Ibaka, and the Raptors miss again. Well, this is why you see guys shying away from their mid-range jumper. It's a bit of a lost art. And AI throws nice. it down. <laughs> He could have tried to force a shot there. Instead, LeBron keeps his eyes up, yeah. finds an open teammate. I didn't call for the Van Vliet looking around. Pass to Leonard. Uh -oh. Over Harris. And good. And it takes a nice uh -oh. bounce off the right iron and down. Eight points for Leonard. This is what Leonard gives you. Reliable, productive. Turns out positive plays. Timeout called the Lakers. This their first look at this year's Toronto squad. Yeah, interconference matchup. Two, two teams that'll see each other only twice on the schedule. It's always interesting. You're not exactly sure what you're going to get, but it'll be fun to see how it plays out. The Raptors making a switch here. Lowry's checked in, and we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Hey, guys. Well, Mark Gasol is the more fiery of the Gasol brothers. Pal Gasol says, I sugarcoat things a little more than Mark. He's more emotional, more direct. And Mark said, when a mistake happens on defense, I know you're not concentrating. I don't allow that. He knows controlling his frustration is important. What time is it? I'm working on it, guys. Part of leadership, DA. Thank I'm you. Get mine. He, he can't just can't be relaxed get around mine. Harris. He, he's okay. great at recognizing when to take risks and go play. for the steal. Yeah. And Kobe, while you're in the midst of playing, not much time to sit back and gain perspective. Now that you're retired, uh, does it sink in what you accomplished in this game? Yeah, I, perspective now is uh, is one thing. And, you know, I, I I let myself have that and enjoy that a little bit. I bet. And, uh, but when I was playing, not even a little bit. <laughs> not even a little bit. You would never sit back and no. say, you know, here here's here's my 14th consecutive All Star game. <laughs> no. This is this is really an amazing streak. Of no, really. No. Nope. That was always the next thing. Lowry kicks to Ananobi. Leonard looking around. Bucket is good. Leonard's got four points in the quarter. Mr. Dependable tonight, helping them grow this lead. LeBron outside, and there's the pass to Ball. Lakers passing it around. AI dishes to Stevenson. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. Leonard with the steal. Wow. One on one here. Here's Van Vliet. No good off the back of the rim. And you see why his reputation is so strong defensively. He allows ah, no shot. separation. And so many defenses are not designed to take away the mid range jumper, but he's given nothing away. Takes it out to Leonard. Let's the three fly. He's off on that one. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Stevenson against Leonard. Stevenson outside, and he gets the whistle for the three-second call. <laughs> Courtesy of the 2K leaderboard, here's a peek at the league's top scores from a season ago. LeBron James third. And looking back, his points per game really underscore the fact that he never took a game off. I mean, one special performance after another all season long. Leonard on the wing. He's guarded by Stevenson. Shoots from 12. And it's Leonard again missing. Lakers trail by 13. The drive by James. And it's good off the back rim and in. A, a tough start scoring the basketball, but they're starting to turn it around now. And Kobe, you've made no apologies throughout your career about being a scorer, but how do you strike that balance between getting buckets and keeping your teammates involved? Well, it's, it's, a, it's a thin line, especially for scorers. 
you know, because you, when you're locked into that mentality, it's very easy. It's almost like a, like a racehorse. Mm-hmm. You're racing with blinders on. You don't see anything else. You have one focus, right? And so it becomes a matter of trying to understand when to attack throughout the course of the game. So the first three quarters, maybe I'll lay back. Or maybe even it's just the first quarter and then close out the first half strong. So you go into halftime with some momentum. We've got 155 left now here in the second. And the wide open shot from Green. Off target from three point range. And Los Angeles guys uh, shooting from the field. 44%, not bad. Here's AI. And AI throws it down. A oh, power flush with a long hang on the rim at the end of that. that could be, you know, that could be a catalyst for him. It really could. Lynn against Rondo. Outside, Lynn kicks to Moreland. Green finds Lynn. Down to five on the shot clock. There's his third field goal, and now he's made half of his six shots. And when he gets in his head that he's going to get to the basket, very little you can do defensively. I'd like to give a big thank you once again to Kobe Bryant for coming by, and uh, and feel free anytime to drop by and join our broadcast. No, thank you, man. It's been uh, it's been wonderful. Thank you for having me. Well, Smitty, with Kobe stopping by the booth, you think back to some of the great moments of his career. Do you recall the first time you ever went up against him on the floor? I do. I remember his rookie year. He didn't play a lot of minutes, but you could tell he was a special talent. He was a total package, and I was looking forward to see his career develop. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. Ingram passes to AI. Outside Rondo. Back to AI. It's stolen by Ibaka. And here we go. Here's Powell. Rebounded by the Lakers. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Blazers. And after a near win, you second guess a number of things that didn't go your way. I think looking back on that one, it's a learning experience. We'll see if they can make some of the necessary corrections. And so it's Toronto with a 10-point lead. Some... Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half. And we've got third quarter of basketball for you. Two quarters in the books. Really an incredible game from AI. What well, we saw in the first. Yeah. Los my Angeles team. will go for Ooh. a different look here. One one. AI okay. has checked in for JaVale McGee. Brandon Ingram comes in for Kyle Kuzma. Caldwell Pope, he's checked in for Harris. Rajon Rondo subbed in for Lonzo Ball. And then for Toronto. Powell, he's checked in for Eric Moreland. Jeremy Lin comes in for Green. And it's Fred Van Vliet in for Kyle Lowry. And the Raptors miss again. He's 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 a guy that he's can get you stops. Aggressive on the defensive end. Also doing a good job of tracking the ball, contesting the mid-range jumper as well. On the perimeter, Caldwell Pope and Ingram. LeBron James is out there with AI. And it's Rondo in at the point guard position. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. And sometimes innovations can bring you back to where you started, Steve. Could we see that with post play in the future? You know, I don't know if it'll be a lot of post play from dominant bigs. I think the post play will come back um, a little bit more in the form of a lot of these smaller guards are posting up a little bit more than they did, I would say, in the last five or six years. It's Powell on the wing, covered by LeBron. Shot clock at five. Van Vliet kicks to Ibaka, drops in the tray. Ibaka's got five points in the quarter. And that's a good job of spotting up by Serge Ibaka. He's good in those catch-and-shoot situations. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Pass to Ingram, to the paint. Here's AI. Ibaka with some nice D. <laughs> Toronto leading by four. Oh. James, left side. Here's Rondo. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. What precision from Rondo. Even when he gets knocked around, he keeps his focus and nails the shot. 
with Rajon Rondo, you have to admire his creativity on the floor. Just sees the game and court in ways others don't. When he's focused, he can take over a game with his ball movement. Ingram against Leonard. Count it. Leonard's got 17. Talented, opportunistic. When Leonard gets hot, it can last for long stretches. Outside Rondo to the middle. Here's AI. No stopping him there. Jams it in as he's fouled. Chance now for a three-point play. Serge Ibaka picks one up there. Yes. That one drops. He ties it up. Last season, Toronto had a very mixed season, to say the least. Franchise record 59 wins and the top seed in the East. It all came crashing down as they were swept out of the playoffs by the Cleveland Cavaliers. Van Vliet with the bucket. Kawhi is carving up this defense. Love his awareness. He is finding the open man. Down low. It's stolen by Ibaka. And here we go. Fast break. Lynn's got it. And the dunk by Powell. Well, that's why they're in front. Uh, aggressive play at both ends. Nicely done. Lakers trail by five. And for the Raptors last season, Steve, it was the ultimate letdown, wasn't it, to have the season end like it did against Cleveland? Sure was. The team kept insisting things were different last year, and this was their time. Wasn't the case at all. They fell again to the Cavaliers. It was a big disappointment. They looked to shake things up this past offseason. Just two to shoot, and it's Ingram missing. This is a problem for him. Inconsistent from the mid-range. Leonard, the basket good off the assist from Lynn. Lynn's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. And it's Rondo with the ball for the Los Angeles Lakers. They trail by seven. Dishes to Ingram. To the paint. Here's AI. It falls for basket number nine from the field. He's taken 14 shots to get there. Yeah, one of the few bright spots for his team. I mean, he's had a very efficient offensive performance. Overall, it hasn't been pretty for his team, but he has shot the ball well. Oh, and the wow. jam by Leonard. I'll tell you what, when Kawhi knifes his way to the rim, it's next level. L.A. has gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. That's tipped. Leonard <laughs> with the steal. He dishes it to Powell. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Now let's look now at some numbers for Contavious Caldwell Pope. How he performed last season. He put up about 13 points a game last season. Five rebounds and two assists. And to have a knockdown shooter like that coming off the bench, a great asset for any coach. For sure, things can get stagnant without that spark plug. He always seems to supply points for them in bunches. To the inside, here's AI and the rejection by a bucket. In the corner, it's Van Vliet. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Van Vliet's got 12. And this is the value of letting the play develop. You find the weakness in the defense. Leonard against LeBron. Down low. Here's AI. Toronto grabs the miss. Leonard's got four rebounds in this game. Here's Powell. And again, it's Toronto converting. Timely passing leads to assists, and that's been the recipe for success. Now here's Caldwell Pope, AI right side. Can they get it? Offensive rebound, and AI throws it down. And the defense out of position on that possession, which allowed for him to get that offensive board. Well said. Yes, he did. You're right, Greg. That's a tremendous jam on the putback. You know what? When you don't box him out, he will burn you for it. He threw that put back down with the authority. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. Toronto ahead, up by 11. And we're just moments away from the start of the fourth quarter. Stay with us. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. 
just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball, and how about the perfect delivery? Execution. This is what you practice every day. These guys are professionals. Beautiful play. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. So the Raptors five right now. Kawhi Leonard is out there with Ibaka. Then there's Norman Powell. Then it's Jeremy Lin. And it's Van Vliet in at the one spot. Powell kicks to Leonard. Just five on the clock. Beyond the arc. And it's AI with the rebound. AI's got rebound number eight now on the night. LeBron dishes to AI. Lays it in without an inch of room around him. AI's got it back down to single digits for the Lakers. One minute now into this fourth quarter. Here's Van Vliet. He's guarded by Caldwell Pope. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. That's on LeBron James. And Fred Van Vliet, the Wichita State product, took some time getting into the NBA. But my goodness, is he a factor now for this team? You know, I love the way Van Vliet can create space with his movement and getting into a defender. Great at reading a defense and finding the right play. He thinks several steps ahead of the play when he's on the floor. Balls checked in for the Lakers. Stevenson passes to Ingram to the middle and AI throws it down hard. And the passing of Ingram setting up his teammates and distributing the ball effortless. And a terrific bit of chaos there on the replay presented by the Under Armour Hover Havoc. Outside Leonard. And we've made our way through just over a minute and a half in this fourth quarter. Is it any surprise that he's been hitting everything out there? You want the What's ball up? in his hands as much as possible. Kyle Kuzma's checked in for the Lakers. Harris comes in for Ingram. And then for Toronto. Eric Moreland comes in for Jeremy Lin. And it's Kyle Lowry in for Fred Van Vliet. Ball, the pass to AI. Goes yeah. straight through the defender for the day. Hey, draws the foul. He'll go to the line. Hey, it's on Kawhi Leonard. Uh -huh. yeah, and Ball, a transcendent talent, I think, has a real skill for finding his teammates when they have those good looks at the rim. Can I make it? Can I make it? And that one misses. Raptors leading by 10. Lowry kicks to Leonard to the inside and yeah. stolen by Harris. Yeah. To the wing on the left. Pass to LeBron. And the foul called on Danny Green. That'll be his second foul of the game. Pass to LeBron. On the wing, Corey Harris. Back to LeBron. And that'll be the Lakers as it goes out of bounds. Lakers retain possession. Here's AI. And the rejection <laughs> by Ibaka. Great defense by Serge. A tremendous athlete. Blessed with insane length and leaping ability. Leonard kicks to Lowry. Over AI. Ibaka, no luck. And that was an easy one there. Just a missed opportunity. If you give it to him, he'll take that shot every time down the floor. I'm sure he's kicking himself. Harris finds James. Tries again. LeBron James. Leonard against Kuzma. Whatever. Outside Leonard. And there's the pass to Lowry. Five on the clock. And the Raptors miss again. You know what? They're winning, though, despite the fact that he has just been really off. AI dishes to LeBron. Here's AI. Gets it down Ooh. to single digits. AI's got 15 points in just the second half. Raptors leading by eight. 
Lowry feeling it out a bit. Knocked away. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Ball. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. Moreland kicks to Green. Shot clock at six. Three-pointer, Lowry cans it from downtown. And the Raptors lead by 11. Well, Lowry will never hesitate to take a three. It's a big part of his arsenal. Harris passes to A.I. Now the dish to James. Loads it up for AI. Throws down you. the alley oop slam. And maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you could see the immediate reaction of the guys on the bench. They are pumped up. To the middle. And Green slams it in. You know, he attracts a lot of defensive attention, and that enables Lowry to create open looks for his teammates. Ball with it. Harris outside. Free throw line jump shot. Again, Los Angeles. And his presence as a scorer, it just has a calming effect for the rest of the team. He's a fallback option whenever they need one. And here's Leonard. Outside, Green. He kicks to Moreland. Leonard on the wing, covered by LeBron. Great tee that time from James. Lakers trail by nine. A wide open look here for Kuzma. And out of bounds as Toronto gains possession. Here's a look at what's coming up for Toronto. On Monday, they'll be matching up against Rudy Gobert and the Utah Jazz. Then on Wednesday, they continue the road trip, heading out to Sacramento to take on the Kings. And going up against the Pelicans, that's a contest that could easily go either way. Small mistakes could be the difference, and both teams will need to be at their best. Here's Moreland, guarded by Harris. Here's Ibaka, and the Raptors hit again from deep. He is starting to build oh, up no. a little confidence. Hit just one three in the entire first half, but he has hit two more since then. Pass to LeBron. And it's sent back by Leonard. Strong instincts and positioning. Kawhi read that shot all the way. Ball against Lowry. To the paint. Here's Ibaka. That falls. Nice feed that time from Kyle Lowry. Lowry's got assist number eight here in this one already. Ball dishes to LeBron. to the paint. It's tipped. Looking for Kuzma. He gets it there. Some nice passing here by Los Angeles. AI. The dunk and the foul. A powerhouse move and he's got a chance for one more at the line. Serge Ibaka picks one up there. Steven, today's game, it's so important to have a high level talent who can make contested shots. Yeah, it is. I mean, some of those guys are LeBron James. that make shots with guys hanging all over them. Kevin Durant because of his size. Uh, Kimba Walker. Damian Lillard. What I love right now is guys are comfortable being to be able to shoot contested shots. Yeah, Not like we did mm -hmm. back in the day. You would just move it and try to get a better shot. And so Lowry will bring it up for Toronto. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Kicks to Ibaka. And that one drops. Ibaka's got 12 points here in the second half. Very solid, both ends of the floor. That time, Ibaka, efficient inside. Here's LeBron. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. And so it's Toronto winning this one. This was a hard-fought, well-earned victory for him, Greg. They really had to work for this win. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, weaker teams might have buckled at the end with the crowd amped up, everyone in the building kind of rooting against you. But they stood tall and pulled it out. Well said. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Steve Smith, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, Bye. this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in. So long and good night, everyone.
might be good though. Yeah, it was a charge. That's what I saw. Definitely. Definitely. I did good. Alright guys, that's it man. I'll see y'all later. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> ha ha. Yeah.